Hello dear students. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss structural changes in chromosomes and we will be focusing on deletion and duplication in this lecture. So structural changes in chromosomes are also known as structural aberrations and these are of four kinds deletion, duplication, inversion and translocation. Deletion is also called deficiency at in, and it involves a loss of part of chromosome. This is also known as uh, uh, pseudodominance comes under deletion. An example of deletion is Kreidu-Chat syndrome. Duplication is when a part of the chromosome gets duplicated. It involves addition of a part of chromosome and there are four kinds of duplication. Tandem duplication, reverse tandem duplication, displaced piece and the examples includes barine drosophila is because of duplication of 16a gene on x chromosome now the third kind of structural elaboration is inversion which involves inverse orientation of genes in a part of chromosome inversion is of two kinds paracentric and pericentric inversion and paracentric inversion does not include centromere pericentric inversion includes centromere the fourth kind of structural aberration is called translocation which is also called illegitimate crossing over and it involves exchange of segments uh, between non-homologous chromosome or crossing over takes place between non-homologous chromosome it is of two types simple reciprocal uh, robertsonian Translocation as an example of tra uh, translocation and position effect comes under translocation. So in today's lecture, we will be focusing on deletion and duplication. And in the second part of this, we will be discussing inversion and translocation. So structural abnormalities may be found in both the homologous chromosomes of a pair or in only one of them. It means that uh, these aberrations can be found in only one chromosome of a homologous pair or both the chromosome. When it is found in both the chromosome, it is known as structural homozygote and when it is found in only one of the chromosome, it is known as structural heterozygote. So, when both the homologous chromosomes are involved, these are called structural homozygote and if only one chromosome, then it is called uh, structural heterozygote. For example, here you can see that there are two homologous chromosomes and these are two homologous chromosomes but these two are non-homologous to each other. So say in this homologous pair, there is some uh, aberration here. Say this part gets duplicated. So this will be called a structural heterozygote of duplication. And if both the chromosomes have stru some structural aberration, you can see green. Now. Uh, as discussed, what is deletion? Deletion is when a part of the chromosome gets deleted. So, for example, in this particular example, you can see that uh, you have um, uh, four, four genes on the chromosome here. So, you can see one, two, three, four genes are there in this particular chromosome. Say the gene number three gets deleted. So, this is a deleted chromosome now. And so, the, this chromosome is smaller than the uh, original chromosome. Now, in duplication, what happens? That say, a, uh, gene number 3 has duplicated or this part of the chromosome has duplicated. So, here the 3, 3, there are th 3 copies of, uh, 2 copies of gene number 3. So, the gene and the chromosome which has duplication is longer than the original chromosome. Now, this is third example which is an inversion where the reverse orientation of gene takes place. So, this part of the gene say there are two cuts on the chromosome and this part of the gene gets uh, uh, reverse, uh, reverse oriented and uh, from the original copy of the chromosome. So, in the inverted chromosome, now the order of the genes will is 1, 3, 2, 4 instead of 1, 2, 3, 4. And the last example which is of translocation which is also known as illegitimate crossing over. You see that this is a pair of homologous chromosome and this is another pair of homologous chromosome.
but these are non homologous to each other say translocation occurs and illegitimate crossing over takes place between these two non homologous chromosome and so this part gets translocated here this part gets translocated here and we get uh, this structural heterozygotes of trans you can refer to pk gupta for this picture and you just see that what is happening in these are two non homologous chromosomes in deletion you can see that the th gene number 3 has has deleted in addition you can see that the gene number 3 has uh, been uh, duplicated uh, in duplication in, in translocation you can see that these are two homologous non homologous chromosomes and in translocation you can see that uh, part of non homologous chromosome is here with another part in both the so this is a translocation showing translocation and inversion you can see that the orientation of the genes has changed instead of 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is 1 4 3 2 5 6 now let us focus on deletion so deletion is of two kinds terminal deletion and interstitial deletion it happens due to deficiency of a part of chromosome uh, when uh, due to this one chromosome is longer than the other and so to enable the two chromosome to form a bivalent during zygotene stage a loop is formed in longer chromosome during zygotene and uh, because of the deleted part of a uh, chromosome even the recessive alleles now uh, starts expressing and so it results in pseudo dominance of recessive alleles and in the absence of dominant allele this condition is known as hemizygous condition the example of a deletion is cridu chat syndrome which is designated as 5p minus which means that uh, the short arm which is represented by p the short arm of fifth chromosome has some deletion this is the meaning of 5p minus so in this picture you can see that this is a chromosome and the, it is undergoing deletion so this part of the chromosome is deleted and this is a deleted part uh, so this this is shorter than the original chromosome and in this picture in the second part you can see that the short arm is represented by p and the long arm is represented by q say a break occurs and a fragment is deleted so the this is shorter than the previous chromosome uh, than the original chromosome and here uh, we have discussed that say this is um, here this in this picture line diagram you can see that this is showing a shorter chromosome and the longer chromosome because of deletion so because uh, one of the chromosome becomes long and one of the chromosomes is short due to deletion so here you can see that um, this is a de deficiency heterozygote and to enable bivalent formation uh, the longer chromosome undergoes loop formation so this is normal n means normal and d means deleted this is this picture is from pk gupta and you can refer uh, this book for this particular topic now this is another picture which is showing uh, a loop formation in the longer chromosome and as we have already discussed that 5p minus is cridu chat syndrome why this is called cridu chat syndrome because the children who suffer from cridu, cridu chat syndrome they cry like child and they have microcephaly which means that they have small head and low mental ability they have moon like face and short stature and you you can just see that this is chromosome number 5 and short arm of chromosome is showing deletion which is terminal deletion so this is represented by 5p minus now the second uh, structural aberration which we are discussing is duplication duplication involves duplication of a part of gene an example is bar i of drosophila so bar i of drosophila is uh, occurs due to duplication of 16a gene on x chromosome so here you can see that uh, because of the duplication one of the chromosomes is longer than the original chromosome uh, so in the normal case 
there is only one copy of 16 ag but in uh, duplication there are two copies which are present and because of this the longer uh, chromosome um, uh, the bar i of drosophila occurs so here you can see this is a picture from pk gupta and this is showing duplication uh, during duplication there is uh, uh, loop formation in one of the chromosomes so that bivalents are uh, formed during zygotin stage of meiosis so you can see that uh, one of the chromosomes is duplicated and this duplicated chromosome in duplication is in the duplicated chromosome while in deletion it was in the normal chromosome so in today's uh, lecture we have this is very simple we have discussed two topics deletion and duplication and we have uh, discussed that uh, the two one of the chromosome becomes longer uh, in both the duplication and deletion and because of that it forms loop and this is both this deletion and duplication is very simple topic you can refer any book of genetics like Piers, Griffiths, P.K. Gupta for this and you make